This is from Acts chapter 7, beginning in verse 9. It said, And the patriarchs, becoming envious, sold Joseph into Egypt, but God was with him, and delivered him out of all of his troubles, and gave him favor and wisdom in the presence of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and made him governor over Egypt and all his house. There's two words here that I want you to see, two words that I want you to grab a hold of, and they are this in verse 9, but God. Two of the most important words you will ever hear, but God was with him. But God. So in a minute, if you carry nothing else away from this message, I want you to carry two words, but God. Joseph is in that Egyptian prison for several years. He's had nothing but a hard way to go, thrown into circumstances beyond his control. And then we find those two beautiful words, but God. Those two words that can change everything. Those two words that can turn impossibilities into possibilities. Those two words that made all of the difference in Joseph's life, but God. But God was with him. The odds were against him, but God. His dreams could never come to pass, but God. God delivered him out of all of his troubles, gave him favor, gave him wisdom, and took him from the bottom and put him on the top. Uh, I have come to appreciate a couple of challenges that we have with men. And one of them is one that I had to overcome. And that is the challenge of self-discipline for self-improvement. Can you switch the screens for me, please? I need my PowerPoint up, please. Thank you. Write that down. Self-discipline for what? Self-improvement. That is a challenge for a male. The average male finds it very difficult to submit himself to self-discipline in order to achieve self-improvement. Now, except in the area where he feels it would help him make a lot of money. In other words, uh, the male is his priority for exerting effort is monetary. If he thinks he's going to get more money and in some cases more power over money, he will exert some effort. This is why a lot of men would attend success seminars that promise that you will earn more money or you will expand your earning power or you'll, it'll promote you to positions of influence. Men are attracted to those particular areas. But what I think is missing is men needing to, you need to adjust that fine. Men needing to invest in all the balanced areas of life so that they can develop in all of these areas. You are a triunity. Try write that word down. <laughs> T-R-I-U-N-I-T-Y. You are a triunity. You are body, mind, and you are a spirit. In fact, you are a spirit. You live in a body and you possess a soul which consists of your mind, your will, and your emotion. The average male, when he is young, focuses on his physical development. Many young men between the age of, I'd say, 11, 12 years old to maybe 20 become very 
aware of their bodies and so they are attracted to athletics and sports and they go about developing themselves, maybe lifting weights and they kind of want to show their physical prowess and, and that's fine. And then when they, when they grow a little older, they don't go to the gym anymore. Don't look now, but your neighbor probably get that problem. They don't go for physical exercise too much. Then they move into focusing on developing their career for business and earning monies. The average male would make a plan to develop himself physically. He would go to the gym three times a day or three times a week. He would get on a program of eating properly and, and most of you men have done that. You actually plan it. Then a man would plan his career. He would take time off, maybe go to take some courses or go to college, uh, take a certain specialist uh, area of study, gets a degree. We plan our solical development. But how many of you men sat down and planned your spiritual development? The same way you plan your physical development and your career development, do you have a plan for your spiritual development? I remember when I was much younger as a teenager, I made a decision that I was going to become spiritually mature. And then I made a plan. I knew that I had to do some things for that to happen. Most males develop spiritually by mistake. Or they, they kind of develop spiritually by, by falling into problems where they try to get out so they turn to God. Some of them develop spiritually behind the females in their lives. The Word of God says something about Jesus. It says, Literature focusing on changes in men's lives has indicated that the male is in a state of crisis and internal conflict without a clear idea of their identity. Men are trying to cope with the collision of new societal expectations and traditional ideas of what a man should be. What men really need to discover is their underlying purpose, a man's position, and actions must flow out of his purpose, not the other way around. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. To discover the purpose of something, never ask the creation. Ask the creator. We find our purpose only in the mind of our maker. God created everything with a purpose, and his purpose is the key to our fulfillment. The purpose of something determines its nature, design, and features. What God plans is intentional, meaningful, and guaranteed to succeed. If males understand the purpose and responsibilities God has given them, and the true design of their relationships with females, they can be free to fulfill their destinies and potentials. They can be the men they were created to be.